No secret the Central Coast is a hot spot for tourists, especially in the summertime. But there is a group that chooses winter to make its trek here. What's a bit shocking is how many of them there are. And their immigration here is another reason there is no place like home. This really is one of those right in our own backyard wonders. Every winter, a small eucalyptus grove off Highway 1 in Pismo Beach becomes a magnificent haven for some of the most beautiful butterflies anywhere. A lot of the time, they'll look up into the trees and you really can't see the clusters. It looks like leaves, and then they'll look through the telescopes and they'll say, Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like it. If you've heard of it but never stopped to check it out, you should. This is the lar largest congregation of monarch butterflies in the United States. From the end of October until late February or mid-March, you'll find tens of thousands of them hanging out here for protection from winter elements elsewhere. So they come down, they hang out in the trees, they go into like a semi-hibernation, kind of called a topar, and they sleep during the night, they hang out during the day, get warm. Their numbers vary year to year. In 1991, we had 230,000 monarchs here. There's been an average of 25,000 of these beauties passing their winter time here over the last few years. While monarchs typically live only a few weeks, the variety that camps out here lives six to nine months due to a unique fat storing system. But do the math, and even the ones that leave in March will never return. So consider making a stop in the coming weeks to say so long. Is that neat? Yeah. yeah. Your kids will feel like they've walked into a fairy tale. Wow! Time it right, and you'll likely also find this place pretty magical. Even docents who see it daily, year after year, say they're in awe of the beauty of this little corner of the Central Coast. Sometimes when the sun hits a cluster, all the butterflies will start flying at once, and it's, it's like an explosion of gold, and it's, it's, I'm still impressed by it. Now, I was by there yesterday, and there were still plenty of butterflies, but they are starting to hit the road, so don't wait to pay a visit. And you may want to mark your calendars for next year, because I'm told with all the rain that we've received this mm -hmm. year, we might have a big batch of monarchs oh. coming to pay a visit next year. Very cool. And they usually start arriving, what, November, somewhere Late in there? Late November, a few of them, and then, you know, November through end of this month, we see a lot, and then they trail off in March. But, you know, it's one of those places you drive by all the time. Yeah. Take five minutes, pull yeah. over. Go see it. It takes that long. It really is a special place, and especially when you see it through the eyes of a child like that. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, look at that. It's like a fairy tale. It is. I